Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Thursday. It's the 3rd of September, 2020. We're going to look at the stakes races on the program, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and also join me this upcoming Saturday for my Kentucky Derby preview video from Churchill, and also here from Saratoga, my Woodward preview. Basically, just join me here on YouTube, because tomorrow's Kentucky Oaks. It's going to be a great weekend, uh, going into Monday. Monday of a great weekend of racing so uh, just basically join me for that but let's get to the action on today's program from Saratoga we'll be looking at races three and six the third race feature it's the PG Johnson stakes purse one hundred thousand dollars race for two-year-old fillies here we have a field of seven horses heading or excuse me seven are entered but only five will head over to the uh, inner turf course distance of ground here 1700 meters with a distance of ground of a mile one sixteenth on the inner turf course 1700 meters one mile one sixteenth inner turf course and I show the diagram just gives me a second to look down the notes just bear with me my top selection here I'm gonna go with the number one horse who is invisible gal we'll go one three two seven in the super factor one three two seven super top selection one horse invincible gal this two are fully by invisible speed Spirit. Uh, Grand Motion trains. Jose Ortiz gets them out. Horses only started once. That came on the 7th of August, Saratoga. Good melon turf. Of course, 5.5 in the main special weight, 72,000. The horse winning by a half length. You know, didn't have the best the beginnings that day, but it recovered well stocked. Got the lead. Quickened up nicely. Got the job done and had a lot left in tank. Off of the high race, you kind of know, know, notice that the horse might want longer d distance. Gonna get it today. And if the horse runs a similar race from the stock position, I think she could win. They took the horse to Fairhills most recently for a workout of where she's where Grand Motion's based anyway, so she was there at her home. But most recent workout, six furlongs on the Tapita and one fourteen and two fifths a second, best workout too. So she's coming out of the race well. I go into a longer trip, which she's bred for. I think she really goes up a lot. So so let's use her. The three horse mischievous dream, I think, is your le second likeliest winner coming to a route trip. You know, uh, most recently the horse ran in the Bolting Landing, going five and a half here at Saratoga a few weeks ago, and the horse finished fourth by five lengths and was very very wide and had a very tough trip in the straightaway, which cost him. Going to take her again here to a longer trip and hopefully with a, you know, with a better trip and longer trip. At 4 to 1, let's use her on the multis. But to recount my selection for the third from Saratoga, it's P.G. Johnson. Let's use the one horse Invincible Gal. Also give kudos to the three horse Mischievous Dream. We'll go 1 3 2 7 in the Superfecta. The sixth race from Saratoga, it's New York Stallion Series. Purse $100,000 race for three year old fillies here. We have a field of seven horses going to the main track. The distance of ground of 1,300 meters. With the distance of ground of six and a half furlongs on the main track. 1300 meters, six and a half, main track. My top selection here, I'm going to go take the number four horse, Big Q. We'll go four, six, three, seven in the Super Facta. Four, six, three, seven, Super. Top selection of four horse, Big Q. Three year old filly by Big Brown. Gary Gallo trains. Joel Rosario gets the mount. The horse is most recent on. It came an option of 40 here at Saratoga. Six furlongs, August 16th. First time facing all the horses and was drawn stupidly wide. The horse been seven by eight lengths and left out of the gate was very wide and just couldn't keep up late. Coming here, lesser quality horses back to you know, quality horses that she could fa uh, win against. I think she'll really run a good race. Two backs around the Bowery at Belmont, seven from June 28th, off the bench, finished second by four and a half lengths. The winner, Critical Value, just ran a very impressive victory. But this horse was just a little bit wide, but, you know, ran decently. And then before then, the Franklin Square at Aqueduct, six and a half January the 18th, the horse been second by six lengths. Again, the winner just ran that better race. This horse was with him early on, but just couldn't catch the winner, who was just much the best there. Um, but this horse has always run these good races and then he'll run these spectacular races like she did it in the key sense at Aqueducts. Six furlongs last November and the horse won by four lengths from a stocking position. This horse took clear. You even forget about the uh, the horrible break that day. But still, very, very good run at nine and a half to one. Uh, but uh, come back here to Saratoga. Training well. It's seven to two. Let's take this horse in singular. So to recap my selection for the six from Saratoga, it's New York Stallion Series. Let's take the four horse with Big Q. We'll go four, six, three, seven in the Super Factor. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Race and get five. Good luck, everybody.